Hello everybody, um, it's Kate Ryan here from Flavor.e. You're very welcome to my second Periscope broadcast. Um, so I'm going to be doing one of these uh, every week on a Monday around about this time. And uh, each time there's going to be a different topic um, centred around food, different food topics. So this week um, I want to uh, discuss quality over quantity when it comes to food. Um, I personally think this is a really important question. I think it um, uh, resonates with being mindful about what you're eating, about being very conscious about certain food choices that you're making. Um, and I just kind of wanted to, hi Alchemy you, how are you doing? I just wanted to ask you uh, this question. Have a quick think about um, what you ate for tea tonight. Um, did you make it yourself? Did you know what was in it? Could you taste every ingredient that was inside of it? Did it come in a packet? And if it did, um, did you read the ingredients list? Were you able to even pronounce all of the ingredients that were on the packet? Um, did it require heating up in the microwave or in the oven, baking or whatever for 20, 25 minutes? Just have a think about that. Um, if that was the case, would you be or are you happy eat eating that kind of processed food every single day? Do you feel full after it even so? Um, you know, does it does the feeling last for a long time? Or are you essentially, hello from Wexford, and yes, well, it, we'll come on to breads and sugars there in a minute, because it does depend on which breads and sugars that you're going to be eating. Um, but essentially, I suppose it's all about uh, trying to get out of eating these em empty calories and actually being very mindful about what you're putting into your body. Um, one of the, the mantras that I have about Flavor.ie is about cooking from scratch and I know everybody thinks that they don't have time, that they're very, very busy, they don't have time to make everything from scratch but if you tune into the blog um, there is a whole recipe file called the Flavor Files on there and all the recipes on there are basically designed for you to make and cook and eat healthy um, for between a half an hour and an hour during a normal week in working day during the week. So for example, I mean, I went to work this morning at nine o'clock in the morning. I got home at seven o'clock in the evening. I'm here periscoping to you now, 45 minutes later, and I've had a home cooked meal from scratch to fill me up, to keep me going. And so it's been a busy day, so it can be done. But as well as like kind of the questions about thinking about, well, what was it that I was eating and all the rest of it? Um, do you know where it came from? What are the origins of the food that you're eating? Is it local? You don't have to be amazingly evangelical about things being local, but it does help to kind of know what is in your food. So I just had a vegetable bake there this evening. So I happen to know that the vegetables that I put in it um, were organically grown on a farm just a few kilometers from where I live. I know where the milk came from, I know where the butter came from, I know where the all the ingredients came from. Some of them were local, produced local, some of them were bought lo local, but I was able to taste every single ingredient in the thing that I was uh, um, eating. Um, so I suppose it's about consciously choosing what you're eating and not giving in to this um, limiting belief all the time that I don't have time to cook, I don't have time to eat healthily, or or actually even equating eating healthily to being on a diet. That's a really dangerous way to kind of think about things. Um, as well, kind of think about your environment when you're eating as well. Like, did you sit down at a table? Did you, um, or did you just mindlessly kind of shovel it into your mouth while you're sat in front of the TV watching something that you'll probably forget about in five minutes time on the TV? Um, and, you know, I kind of, I do believe that sitting at the table should be part of the whole dining and eating experience because if you're sat at the table whether it's by yourself or with somebody else you can you know you can talk about your day you can talk about what you're eating you're going to eat it slowly more slowly because you're being mindful about what how you're eating and what you're eating um the other thing as well that i think is kind of really important is um uh, identifying when there's empty calories in things so somebody there um <laughs> Very good, very good, uh, Eric Hev, very, very done. Um, 
So one of the things that I kind of feel as well is important is calories and how our body takes in the calories. So there's a growing, growing trend thanks to certain kitchen gadgets such, such as Nutribullet for kind of people thinking that smoothies are a substitute for real food. And yes, they are a fantastic way of getting extra nutrients into your body, but they really, really shouldn't substitute eating proper food. Um, our bodies are designed to eat and digest proper food. So yes, okay, blending half a kilo of kale and knocking it back in a smoothie is probably, you know, you're getting a nutrient hit, but in terms of how your our digestive system works and being able to break that down and get even more nutrients and the fiber from the food, you have to just sit down and eat some vegetables or whatever or fruits in their whole how they occur naturally. That's just it. It's the difference between eating an orange and just taking the juice from the orange. The juice from the orange, the, the chemical properties of it, the physical properties of it changes. So you get flavor, yes, you get sugars also, but you lose all of the fiber that your body needs. Um, I was watching a really interesting documentary actually a few um, couple of months ago called Fed Up. Um, if anyone's watched it, they'll know. If anyone hasn't watched it and you've got Netflix, search it out and watch it. It'll be the best hour you spend watching of your life. But, but essentially what they were kind of saying was things like you need fiber in your diet to be able to kind of catch the sugar and sort of take it out of where your body stores it around your body as fat, as kind of wasted chemicals and process it properly. So have a think about if that drink that you're drinking there, that orange juice or that smoothie, is that how you're going to be relying on getting all your nutrients into your body or are you actually going to sit down and eat a proper meal with proper food um, in it because that is as important so what I'm saying is that that's basically all about balance so you need to get that don't rely on one or the other it has to everything has to be working in tandem tandem with each other um, so for instance there's nothing wrong in eating a pizza absolutely nothing wrong in a pizza but did it come from a local pizzeria or did you make it yourself using say sourdough uh, pizza bases uh, local organic fresh ingredients and so forth and the final thing to kind of bear in mind about being mindful about food and choosing quality of food over quantity is if you're hungry our automatic response is to reach out for something that's quick and tasty to, to take off that feeling of hunger because we don't like it and it's all too easy for us to kind of reach for crisps and sweets and fizzy drinks and chocolates and maybe a slice of toast with jam but you can actually feel more full and get more nutrients in your body if instead of kind of going for those you reach for nuts and seeds and carrots and the whole fruit and maybe some bio yogurt it will fill you up as much but it will last you much much longer and also you're getting better benefits for your body as well so I suppose that's my message to you today I try and keep these short and sweet is just be mindful about what you're eating. Choose quality over quantity. Don't choose a pound of really rubbish beef. Choose half a pound of really, really exceptional quality beef and make it go further. Those kinds of choices, really. So um, that's it for now. And thanks for everyone who joined in and listened and uh, commented. And thank you for the hearts again. I really appreciate those. I'll be back again the same time next week. I'll choose a different topic. Um, I'll post it up onto my Facebook page. But in the meantime, you can keep in touch with me and everything I'm up to um, on the face on my flavor.ie website page. You can find me on Facebook at slash Facebook, uh, sorry, facebook.com forward slash Flavor Westcourt on Twitter at Twitter IE, sorry, at Flavor IE and on Instagram at flavor.ie. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you again next week. Thanks very much. Bye.